ECDL Advanced Access Lesson 7 Lookup Fields. So this is the start of Section 2 in which we'll be discussing field properties. When creating a table, a field can be defined that already contains all the possible values that can be entered. This is called a lookup field and will speed up data input and reduce typing mistakes because at data entry time there's no need to enter any values, merely select an entry from the presented list. The field can be set so that only entries from the list will be accepted. There are two options. Either the possible values for the field will be manually typed into the field definition, or the field will look up its possible values from another table in the database. We're going to discuss the first option in this lesson, and it's used when there are not many values to choose from, and they are not expected to change very often. OK, let's open the Custom Computers database and open the Repairs table and then select to Design View. So View, Design View. A new lookup field is to be created called Processed By. So position the cursor under Date in the Field Name column Enter the field name as processed by, and from data type choose lookup wizard. From the lookup wizard choose I will type in the values that I want, and then click next. Specify the number of columns as one, and enter the following values into column 1, pressing the tab key between each entry. Davison, Jones, Hussan, and Peters. Click Next. The label processed by is correct, so click Finish to create the lookup field. We now need to save the table and then switch to Datasheet View. View, Datasheet View, you must save the table, so let's save it now. And now we're presented with the Datasheet View. As can be seen, the new field processed by is displayed. Davison processed job number one. So click in processed by for job one. Click on the down arrow and choose Davison from the list. Click in processed by for job number two and enter the single character H. Hussan appears in processed by for job number two. Press the enter key. Now let's switch to design view. So view, design view. In field properties for the processed by field, that's down here, select the lookup tab. Row source shows the entries that appear in the field and these can be amended here. Peters leaves the company and is replaced by Cowell. So let's select Peters and replace it with Cowell. Change the limit to list option to yes Save the changes to the table and then switch back to Datasheet View. 
If we now try and enter the name Chapman in the processed by field, a message will appear. The text you entered isn't an item in the list. Because limit to list has been set, only the names in the lookup field list will be accepted. Click No and then select Cowl from the list. If on the previous window we had selected the Yes option, this will allow the list to be edited directly without having to switch to Design View. OK, let's switch back to Design View. Click in the Processed By field. From the Field Properties, select the Lookup tab. And then, in the Display Control field, select the drop-down box at the end and select text box. The field is no longer a lookup field. OK, if you save the table, we will be using it in the next lesson, which will be Lesson 8, in which we will discuss how to look up values from a different table in the database. OK, I hope this is making sense, and looking forward to seeing you next time.